When a patient comes to me with a diagnosis of breast cancer, we talk about some of the options that they have for treatment. And the options are primarily divided into what's called breast conserving therapy, what people know as a lumpectomy that doesn't require removal of the whole breast, or mastectomy, which is removal of the whole breast. And we talk about the difference uh, that that will mean for the patient and which is best for them uh, at that time to manage their breast cancer. In most cases, the woman herself has a choice about which way to approach her breast cancer, what we call breast conserving therapy with a lumpectomy or a mastectomy. There are some situations where that choice isn't available to the woman because of the size of the breast, because of the size of the cancer, because of other features like a family history of breast cancer or a genetic disposition to breast cancer. And in some cases, we, we will counsel the patient to have a mastectomy. Generally speaking, when the patient um, arranges their surgery, we also anticipate that the pathology will take about a week to come back, and so we'll arrange for a follow-up appointment uh, about a week after the surgery. At that appointment, we can anticipate discussing what the pathology shows, and uh, the woman can also plan to see our radiation oncologist and our hematologist oncologist. So those are the three doctors that are gonna be involved in the care of uh, the woman with breast cancer in the ensuing weeks after the diagnosis and surgery. And so we talk about lumpectomy or mastectomy. 